Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you guys how to make a alt account detection system. Let's get right into it. Alright, the first thing you want to find for is your event handler or you can do it in index.js as well. So uh, in this case, I have an event handler. You should see a card pop up right now on the top right of the screen. Click on that if you want an event handler or else you can just use index.js. So um, we're going to create a new file in here. Okay, if you're using index.js, just wait for all out. I'll tell you when you should start. So let me just do something like nt out, or we can do out detection system. The JS. All right. So if you have a event handler, just do cons client equals require. You can require it from index.js. So you can just do dot slash and then get index.js. Oops. All right. Perfect. Okay, so if you're using index.js, you can start right now. So we're going to create a simple event, which is the client, the guild member add event. So you can do this by doing client.on. And we're just passing guild member add, comma, and then the parameter will be member. All right. So before we start with anything, we have to install a npm package. So simply just go to your terminal. And in here, you just got to run npm ims. So we're going to use this um, uh, this package over here. Okay, once you're installed, okay, we're going to require the package right here. So const ms equals require ms. All right. Okay, so first we're going to define the time that you want. So let me just do it outside of the event. So you can do const time. Um, let me just do a uh, time span, something like that. All right. So in here, you can choose the um, what you consider a alt count. So let me just give an example. Let me just say I want two days counted as a alt account. So this is basically the creation date and the time that the person joined the Discord server. So um, yeah, I'll get more in depth later. So let me just keep it at that. For now, next in here, uh, first we're gonna get the user creation date, and then we're gonna convert it into a timestamp, so it's gonna be easier for us. So we can do that by doing const uh, created at. You can just remember the user dot created at, but we're gonna make a. Let me just do some. Let this. I mean. Just ignore that. You can just do new date and pass in member the user created at because this is going to return a date, and then we're going to change it into a type time by doing get time. All right. So the next thing you want to do is you want to compare the uh, the current date and the date that it is created at, and then uh, we're going to check if it's under if it's under timestamp. If it's under, we're going to ban or kick him. Or else you're just gonna ignore. So you can do this simply by doing um, const difference equals to date not now, which returns a timestamp minus. We can do minus. Oops, minus created at. All right. So this is the difference, and then next we're gonna check if the difference is less than two days. So we can do that by doing if difference is less than timestamp time span I don't I don't even think that time span is a is a word but uh let's let's just do that okay if difference is less than timestamp we can simply just do uh we can make an object and then we can just do member dot send okay we're gonna say that uh you are an alt count all right um Actually, you don't need to send messages. Um, you can send a message. You can just do this if you want to send a message if you want, but you can just ignore this. All right. Next step, uh, we're gonna do. Um, we can do member dot kick. Okay, or you can do member dot ban. You can choose one of these, and then uh, if, let's say I want to I want to do member dot kick. Okay, and then we can just pass it a parameter. So let me show you how I can do that. 
Uh, so this is the reason. So you can just pass in the reason as something like um, this is an alt account. Okay, this is not required, but you can do it if you want. So you can check in the logs later on if you want to know why this member is kicked. Okay, you can do the same thing for the ban. So simply just do member dot ban ban and then um options which is reason and you can just pass in reason um ban because out account all right so yeah that that is it yeah that is it so if you're using index.js once again just simply just take this code and just put it inside index.js and don't forget to um add these two as well so uh, next thing uh, we can change the times uh, time span so you can change it something to like 4,000 days or you can make it like 5,000 days 6,000 days all right because um, MS it doesn't support months years because there are leap years and there are uh, months that has 30 days 31 days so if you want to check the timestamp time span or whatever you want to call it you can just use days or you can use hours as well you can make it like something like 30 minutes oops minutes all right or you can make it something like one hour okay so in this case uh, i don't have an alt account so let me just change the date to three thousand days so it's gonna be a uh, thing that i'm out an account and out account but i'm actually not so just make it whatever date that you want so let's just say one day to one week or whatever it is all right let's test this out all right so now i'm on my alt account this account was made around 400 days ago or 300 days ago i'm not sure um so yeah it should kick because i have set the date to 3000 days so if because 400 days is less than 3000 days that's why it's going to kick my account so let's just test this out so we just paste in the invite link and join the server all right okay as you can see here i joined the server and then it kicked me and then as you can see here, the bot sent me a message that you are an out account so what if i go back into visual studio code let me just go back to where is visual studio code all right in here so if i change the date okay as you can see here it's three thousand days oh one more thing i can actually check let me show you guys you go to server settings and then you go to audit lock Okay, as you can see here, YouTube tutorials kicked recon test. And if I click here, with reason alt account. So this is uh, actually addressed in here, your alt account. Okay, you can change it to whatever you want. So this is the reason why we have to add reason. So we know that where it's coming from. All right. So just ignore this. Um, just ignore that. This is if you only want it to work in one guild. So if you want it to work in every single guild, just ignore this line. All right, so let's just test this out with 20 days because obviously that account is older than 20 days. So let's just test this out. Let me just save the file and let's just run it again. All right, I'm in my alt account. So if I try to join the server again, it wouldn't kick me anymore because I am not an alt. All right, you can see here, um, it, doesn't, it doesn't do anything because my account is older than 20 days. All right, let's just revise this again. So this is basically um, the amount of days that you can specify so if the user account is younger than what you specified over here it's going to kick in or ban him depending on what you put over here um, if you want to see more discord JS tutorials uh, you should see a playlist that you can click on right now on the screen just click on that all right have a nice day see you again next video bye